Today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a blank virtual hard drive, partition, and format it for use in a virtual machine. For this tutorial, I'll be using Windows 7. We'll select the settings on our virtual machine. What you want to do is you want to go over to Storage, and then under Controller, whichever you have selected, either it's IDE or SATA, you're going to go and click the New Add Hard Disk. We're going to do Create New Disk. We're, I'm going to select VDI because that's the proprietary VirtualBox disk image which seems to be faster in my experience and we're going to make it dynamically allocated meaning meaning that dynamically allocated means that it uh, it adjusts its size depending on how much data is in it a fixed size would be let's say you create a 25 gigabyte drive you'll end up with a 25 gigabyte file which is faster in some cases, but if you're low on space, isn't the best idea. So I'm going to select dynamically allocated, because when you start out with the hard drive, it'll only be a few kilobytes until you start adding stuff to it. But, it'll know, but it won't exceed the amount you put in. It can be less than or equal to, but it can never exceed the size which you tell it to be. So we're going to tell it to be 25 gigabytes, and we're going to name it you can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it external HD. So it's going to create it. It's now attached it. So now we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to boot up our virtual machine. And I'll come back when this is uh, finished, or well, when it's booted up. Okay, so here we are back at our uh, desktop. The computer's now started up. What you want to do is you want to click on Start, and then go to Disk Management. You want to click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. And this is going to give you an alert that one of your disks has not been initialized. So you want to click on the disk, and you want to select MBR, and you want to hit OK. So it's going to initialize it. After doing that, you want to scroll down here and select your disk. Here it is. So we're going to right click and do New Simple Volume and do Next. And it's telling us that the total size is 25 gigabytes and a handful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Calculator and take that number. And since I want to split it into two, I'm just going to simply do some division, paste, divide by 2, enter, so now we get 127 gigabytes and 98 megabytes. So, I want to type in the new one, 127.98, so, and then we're going to hit next, we're going to assign the number, I'm just going to do E, because it also has a CD drive, and then we're going to do NTFS, default allocation, quick format, and we're going to name it. The volume label is what the drive is going to be called. I'm going to name this one Music. And hit Next and Finish. And that's formatting. So then, what we're going to do is after it's finished formatting, it's going to give you an Autoron prompt. Here we are. It's saying that autoplay music, you want to view files. So now we're going to create the second drive. We're going to right click, new simple volume, like we just did. And we're going to tell it, I'm going to do 12, I'm going to leave that default. 
gives you next. I'm going to assign it as F. I'm going to name this one data. From quick format, etc. Finish. It's in a format. Then it's going to give us the auto run prompt. So now, if we go into Windows Explorer, we're going to see we now have those two drives. So that's been a tutorial on how to create a new blank drive, mount it, partition, and format. Be sure to subscribe, comment, fave, thumbs up, etc. This has been Zesty Panda with another tech tip.